it's Lauren with AKE Safety Equipment. Did you guys know that the average snowmobiler will ride around 1,414 miles each year in North America? This is not too much of a surprise as there are approximately 230,000 miles of trails marked throughout both the United States and Canada. And trust us, we get it. We're all excited to get outside and ride our snowmobiles, but before hitting the snow, you really should always practice safety. Start by checking the following, your machine. Do a quick pre-op check before each ride, which can be outlined in your owner's manual. If you have other concerns or maintenance that is needed, be sure to reference your owner's manual or a dealer. It's important to make sure that your snowmobile is kept in good condition to ensure not only dependability, but ultimately your fun. It's important to look at the local maps and terrain in which you're riding. It's important to know where you are riding and what to expect along the trails. You can always talk to locals or get a map. It's important to learn the terrain as there may be roads, railways, or bodies of water that you need to be aware of. Um, another way that you can be prepared is always have your phone on you. So I've got mine here and I've got my map uploaded as well. So it's always a good idea to carry your phone on you. The forecasted weather conditions are also really important. Check the local weather along the trails as you don't want to get stranded in the middle of a storm. If there is a storm, it's always best to wait and stay indoors until it's passed. I like to use my phone for this as well and check the weather where I'm going and where I plan to be. It's a really quick, easy way to stay up to date. You should also have a snow plan. Check your snow plan and review it with those you're riding with. If you don't have one, we really suggest that you create one. Know where you will be riding and when you plan to return. Make sure that you share this plan with others so they know your whereabouts. So if you don't return, they can send help for you. Your emergency gear. Make sure to pack a set of personal items, safety equipment, a toolkit, and first aid for emergencies. Don't leave without these items because you never know if you or someone you're with will need it. What do you guys need for personal items? Personal items that you should carry with you include your driver's license, snowmobile safety certification card, if required by your jurisdiction, and some money, insurance forms uh, for vehicle, and then of course, as we've mentioned before, a cell phone, bring some water, some high energy food, and any critical medications that you may need. Make sure to pack these with you and keep them on your snowmobile. You just don't know if you're gonna need these if you get stranded or if somebody gets hurt. Before leaving, make sure your phone is fully charged and then turn it off to help preserve the battery life. Keep your phone stored in a warm location so it doesn't freeze as it's pretty cold out on many days like it is uh, in February here in Minnesota. A great place to keep your phone would be inside your coat pocket. Um, many jackets have them on the inside so just stick it in there, keep it warm and turned off and you're good to go. And although phones are great and we all love and have them, depending on where you are, you may not have very good reception. So in this case, you you may want a backup device such as a flare or even a radio. So we've got our flares ready here to go as well for our snowmobile. Flares are great because they make it easier for rescuers to find you by creating a bright red flame or an orange cloud of smoke. However, flares can easily start fires, so it's essential to be aware of any highly flammable or dry materials near you. Because fire can quickly occur with flares, it's important to also have an extinguisher like Stop Fire with you in case of a fire emergency, as help may be pretty far away. So make sure when you're using flares to keep stop fire in an easily accessible location because you need stop fire within six seconds to control and minimize damage from fire. What do you need for safety equipment? At the bare minimum, the safety equipment you should have on your snowmobile in case of an emergency includes a compass, local map, waterproof matches, a candle, fire starter, flashlight, spare batteries, a fire extinguisher, and an extra ignition key for your snowmobile. When using a fire starter, make sure to follow basic safety measures like you would with any other fire. Do not leave it unattended with dry flammable materials nearby and be sure to properly extinguish the fire before leaving. A fast, easy way to put out a fire is with the use of sap fire. Be sure to use quick, short, targeted bursts at the base of the fire. It may seem strange not to hold the trigger in the event of a fire emergency, but stop fire was actually made to be multi-shot. 
So this extinguisher is actually designed to be used more than once. It's extremely powerful and depending on the size of the fire, one squirt may be all that you need. We have found that many of our customers only have had to use one squirt of stop fire and the fire was out. However, before leaving, it's always best to use extra precaution to ensure reignition will not occur. Once the fire is put out, make sure to break up the conditions of the fire. All you need to do is simply smother the base of the fire with something like dirt, or in this case, plenty of snow, and then you can be on your way. So, what do you need for a toolkit? Most snowmobile manufacturers already have a toolkit inside of your machine. These typically are found underneath the hood, otherwise they're found back here underneath the seat of your snowmobile and includes things such as a spark plug wrench and other wrenches needed for adjustments that you might need while you're out on the trails. A flathead, Phillips head screwdrivers, and a strap for emergency starting two-stroke snowmobiles with a recoil start. It's a great idea to also have spare spark plugs and a spare drive belt as well. All these tools we just mentioned are vital in ensuring your safety if your machine breaks down. So do not remove these from your snowmobile. Always keep these with you as you never know when you'll need them most. Additionally, consider adding a knife, pliers, side cutters, an adjustable wrench, electrical or duct tape, rags, bungee cords, a tow rope, and a Stopfire Mini fire extinguisher to your toolkit. The Stopfire Mini here is perfect because it is made to fit within the compartment for your tools. The Stopfire Mini was designed specifically for small engine applications where other extinguishers are just simply too large and cumbersome. However, make no mistake, although it is small, it still has the power and cleanliness loved by our customers, but in a much smaller size to fit where space is very limited. If you have a larger machine like we have here, a high capacity might actually work really great for your needs. This one has a little more power, a little more juice, but they still work really great, so whichever one you choose can't go wrong. What do you need for a first aid kit? Well, your first aid kit should always be with you while snowmobiling. If you'd like to purchase one, that's great. There's plenty that have everything you need in it, but they're made in a small compact size so it's easy to carry and store with you while you're riding. If you'd like to make your own, consider including items such as, we've got band-aids here, some compresses, a roll of gauze, some adhesive tape, thermal space blanket, knife or scissors, alcohol wipes, burn gel, and antibiotic ointment. It's important to keep these items stored in a waterproof container and keep in mind that liquids may freeze due to the temperatures outside. So it might not be best to include those with your kit. However, we also recommend bringing items for, for burns with you just in case you were to have a fire and anyone experiences a burn. That way you can treat it right away. If you don't have burn gel, like our customer David Y from Oblong, Illinois, Stop Fire will also cool your burn. The family's recliner was actually on fire and David unfortunately had gotten burned. His wife sprayed Stop Fire on his arm and it actually cooled it off for him. And just to show you, you guys, this stuff is totally safe to use on your skin. Check this out. Totally fine. Kind of cold, but totally safe for your skin. By now you've probably noticed a common denominator for all your emergency gear for snowmobiling, a fire extinguisher. But no worries, AK Heat has got you covered with our Stop Fire Mini. Our team has designed this to be ultra compact and extremely lightweight. So you can have quick and easy access to the effectiveness of Stop Fire without the weight of a traditional fire extinguisher that can be heavy and let's be real, kind of a hassle. But Stop Fire comes with our patented fire extinguisher cap, which protects the handle and valve from insects, dirt, and other debris. Stopfire also has a distinctive pistol grip handle that makes it super easy to use, that even a four-year-old can do it. And if you haven't checked it out on our website, we've got a video, you should really look into that. The best parts of Stopfire though, it requires no yearly or monthly service, and you can use it as many times as you want 
and it leaves no mess. So there's no cleanup necessary. If you use Stop Fire on your snowmobile, it's also non-corrosive, so it'll eat up at your machine. And with a lifetime no hassle guarantee, Stop Fire is truly the way to go for ultimate peace of mind. Thanks for tuning in everybody. It was great to see you again. Uh, if you have any questions about Stop Fire, please feel free to let us know. We can be reached at 800-586-1639 or you can always hit us up online at akee.com.